In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, I bear witness, there is no God but God, and God is the only one who has a right to be worshipped. I also bear witness that Prophet Moses, Prophet Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them, are the messengers of God, and I seek refuge in Allah from the rejected Satan. So greetings of peace, and thanks for watching. Got an excellent video for you all today. We're going to be discussing about the coming of Imam Mehdi the Mashiach, inshallah. We got... Charity and we're also we're going to be discussing about the stingy people out there the greedy people out there that they just Just don't like other people. They just don't like poor people getting taken care of They just it just hurts them to see poor people get some money So we're going to be discussing about that. So I've got some hadith uh, I got the Quran verses that I've uh, compiled the uh, several Quran verses to make sort of like a poetry that I'm going to say and all the sources will be in the description box below so I've just seen uh, people in the financial markets, uh, not all obviously, just some people, uh, conservatives out there that are just all up in arms, not all, but some are all up in arms that uh, poor people are being taken care of out there, that there's a basic income. We know from the hadiths of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, that in time of Imam Mehdi, they'll have some sort of basic income for people. Uh, this seems where the world's direction is going with the current events, etc. <clears throat> that the government's helping these needy people. So I've got a hadith here to help us understand that uh, saying of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, that Al-Mahdi is from my Ummah. He will be born and live to rule five, seven or nine years. If one goes to him and says, give me a charity, he will fill one's government with what he needs. There's other hadiths that talk about people that have charity and are looking to give the charity to people, but since everybody's so so well taken care of that all their basic needs are being taken care of that no one will accept the charity because everybody is taken care of so this is uh, the way we're moving forward and to amplify everybody's wealth well we have to give charity that's the way to manifold to multiply our wealth that we will find in these uh grand uh, these grand verses to help us understand so that will come in the, in the, in the poem just shortly um, I just wanted to touch on uh, these stingy people first that, you know, I don't understand why they just, it just upsets them so much to see poor people being taken care of. So the title of this poem that I've compiled a Quran verse is called, Greedy People Will Be Disciplined. Moreover, a human being is such that when his Lord disciplines him by prosperity and thus honors him and bestows favors on him he says my lord has honored me and when he disciplines him Allah disciplines him with affliction and thus straightens for him his means of sustenance he says my lord has for no reason disgraced me nay what you think is wrong but the reason for this degradation is that you, for your part, do not honor the orphan, and you do not urge one another to feed the poor, and you devour the heritage of others hopefully and indiscriminately, and you are exceedingly fond of wealth. He who stands in awe of God will heed, but the person steeped in wickedness goes on avoiding it. The virtuous shall invariably be in a state of bliss and you should not desire otherwise except that which Allah the Lord of the worlds desires for you this Quran is but a means to rise to eminence for all people for such of you who wish to walk straight to attain eminence and there and in their wealth and belongings was a rightful share for those who asked for help and for those who could not. Neither has he love for those who practice stinginess themselves and also enjoin others to be stingy. He who turns his back upon the, his commandments should beware. Who is he that will separate a handsome portion of his possessions to give in the cause of Allah? Let him remember he will increase it manifold to repay it to him many times over. Indeed, there awaits such a one a generous and honorable reward. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, poem, which is just a compilation of Quran verses. It's very informative. Um, there's lots of things that can be deduced from it. I'll leave that to your discretion. I've deduced the knowledge I feel confident in. 
um, to be more charitable is that will uh, multiply my wealth uh, to stay away from stingy people um, to know that being stingy and uh, trying to convince others to be stingy is very sinful and unlawful and a criminal act according to the new creator world that exists and uh, to pay heed to this and to take a larger shield and to apply the Quran to raise the eminence etc etc so I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you take Allah as your shield. May the peace and blessings of Allah be with you. And all the best. And, you know, give charity a try. You know, if you got a few extra bucks to spare in your surplus, if you don't give charity already, um, and if you give it for the cause of Allah with seeking nothing in return, you will feel bliss and feel great feelings after giving this charity. That's from my personal experience. Um, obviously, people who watch these videos of mine obviously are probably very charitable themselves and uh, know themselves that it's very rewarding to give charity. So, once again, I hope you enjoy this video and may the peace and blessings of Allah be with you. Take care. Thank you so much. Peace.